I said that the car has many different gearbox modes and really I've only talked about standard and sport because that's a very obvious button we can press to uh, enable the sport mode. But there are other buttons we have available to us. So beneath your throttle pedal on the floor is a round button. And most of us will know that as the kick down switch. And it is literally a button, it's an electronic switch which you can depress um, and causes there to be changes in the transmission. When kick down is pressed, the car will stay in the lowest technically possible gear for as long as is possible. So basically it hits its red line in those gears. Subject to other circumstances being right because it's monitoring a lot of other things as well. The gearbox can enter a oil temperature high mode. And this can happen because of the nature of the way you're driving but, or because of a fault. If it notes that the oil temperature in the transmission is higher than it would like, then it's basically able to uh, enable full transmission lockup, even though you're not driving in a sports mode. It will put an amber lamp on the dashboard as a warning that something may be not right, but um, that will go away when you turn the ignition off. And it basically, it's saying, hmm, gearbox oil very high temperature. That's generally um, because of lots of torque converter action, lots of slippage. That generates all the heat in there. So I'm going to lock up the transmission in all the gears that I can as soon as I can to minimize that. And to you as a driver, the only effect is your gear changes feel a bit lumpy. Um, they're a little bit you feel them whereas you didn't previously and you may never even notice the little amber light that comes up on your dash. It's another mode that the gearbox is able to go into. There is a traction mode and that mode can be generated by rear wheel slippage, uh, basically spinning wheels and it will limit the torque but the torque converter can transmit it adds more slip to give a softer action and therefore try and help out the uh, traction control itself and any stability control systems that might have been triggered the traction mode is also enabled if the car detects that all four wheels are doing different things i.e the road speed sensors the things that trigger the ABS are showing one front right is not moving then the left is moving then the backs are going at different speeds it's saying this must be snow it must be ice and it will enable traction mode and again give a lot more slippage to the torque converter to help out the other systems by backing off the power um, it's also in exceptional circumstances able to limit throttle opening position it's got a gradient mode and when the car detects where it's doing a lot of hill climbing it will play around with the gearbox settings again to achieve better cooling keeping temperatures down and give you the best performance in terms of torque while you're climbing so this is a very nice clever gearbox with a lot of features and modes but they're hidden by this beautiful clean interface that we know as the J gate um, what looks like a manual transmission sort of stick um, going through this J shaped slot and a single button that we're able to play with for sport with our finger and another button which is underneath the throttle pedal which is our kick down mode combined with the other sensors in the car it can play around with all sorts of modes to give us the best experience. In second gear, 30 miles an hour is 2,500 RPM. 50 is 4,000. Third gear, 4,000. 
70. Another interesting feature for me is that the five-speed gearbox has um, fourth gear as one-to-one, i.e. -one, direct drive. The engine does one revolution, so does the prop shaft. Fifth gear is an overdrive, i.e. the engine is going slower than the prop shaft. So incredibly tall gearing. Another element just bear, worth bearing in mind in relation to the S button or Sport button is it's not just a straightforward switch. So underneath there's not just two pins, several pins. And if the switch fails or has a bad connection or sticks in any way, because it's doing some reasonably interesting things to your gearbox in terms of selecting programs etc it's more than capable of throwing a fault code I've had sport button cause a restricted performance message which prevents more than 15 degrees of throttle opening I've had the sport button in this car when I first had it throw up a transmission fault code. And I'm sure there are many other ways for it to throw your system. So the tip here is use your sport button on a reasonably regular basis. Even if you have no intention of driving quickly, just engage it, disengage it, make sure it does something to the engine revs and um, by doing so you keep it moving, if nothing sticks, the contacts remain cleaner etc etc. It tends to be lack of use which causes most of the issues with that button. If they do fail, um, it tends to be the quality of the contacts um, they, they either corrode, uh, get a film on them, or start to wear away through tiny amounts of marking, then uh, you can buy them. They're not the end of the world to buy. They're more expensive than you'd expect, by it. So get a, get a spare one in. I have one in my little emergency toolkit, and I think I paid £22 for it. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little secrets of the XKA all related to the gearbox. Uh, if you did, then please subscribe to the channel. Um, check out our website, www.tothegarage.co.uk. We've all sorts of information on there that's extra. We've got some blogs started up now and our increasing collection of technical literature that helps you with maintaining and owning and enjoying your Jaguar. If you want to uh, support the channel by buying some merchandise like my lovely new hat, then you can go over to the shop page on the website and support the channel by buying a hat or a sticker. No obligation, none of the videos will ever be charged for to watch, no pay-per-view, no memberships. So um, the only way to support the channel is by basically buying a sticker or buying a hat or something like that and if you don't want to that's absolutely fine we'll have another video coming up shortly which is going to be how to drive jgate because i had quite a few requests to say how do you use this and what's the point of having this jgate arrangement and we'll come back to you with that one real soon stay safe guys Oh, you